I just think that there was a lot of blackmail, dishonesty, that's what I think. Members of an all-female Jewish paramedic group leave a public meeting frustrated, watching as their application to have their own ambulance goes down in flames. Seven in favor, 12 against. The motion therefore fails. The city's Regional Emergency Medical Services Council, or REMSCO, dealing the group Ezra's Nashim a setback. The volunteer team serves women in the Orthodox community in Borough Park, Brooklyn. Patients who, for religious reasons, do not feel comfortable having male paramedics treat them. We have a cultural distance between men and women. We have our laws of modesty, and even besides that, I think you don't even have to be religious to have that sensitivity. But Ezra's Nashim is facing opposition from within its own community. Those who say the all-male Orthodox Volunteer Ambulance Corps Hatsola which doesn't allow women to serve, but has been around for decades, is enough. Hatsola has been operating in this area for over a decade, and there is no need for anyone else. The Remsco members arguing against the ambulance, all men and mostly Jewish. Wants, wishes, desires have no effect on us here. We are getting into muddy legal territory if we start voting on religion. But the women and their attorneys say the opposition ignores a real need. Knowing that a, your neighbor might show up and you might see him in the community, really, that might be a barrier to the woman calling for help. They don't want women to join and at the same time they don't want women to have their own ambulance uh, company. So that's something that, that I don't understand. Ezra's Nashim volunteers say they'll continue to fight despite the opposition voiced by men on the council. They don't even realize how pathetic they looked because to anyone else in the outside world, it's a given, it's a self-understood need. Why are Jewish men fighting against it? Well, for now, the women EMTs will have to continue using their own vehicles to respond to calls, but this isn't the last word on this. They plan to appeal to the state council, which will hold its own vote. In Morningside Heights, Lori Chung, New York One.